And that, who's that there? That's Riley. That's Riley. And the other's Buddy? Yeah. So that's Riley, Buddy's hiding. Yeah. Buddy's on the other side. Oh, Buddy's on the other side. Doesn't realize that could be a Margaret's gonna star. Margaret's gonna love that. There we go. There we go. Yes, Margaret Furry uh, Hobos and Highway Heroes. We have a, She's awesome. Yeah, we have a transport of nurses who start doing this late. Hey folks, guess what? We're back, like one of my checks, and I'm here with Mike, and we're here with our fantastic videographer who's shy that when you said her name, she had uh, my beautiful wife, Donna. She didn't bark at us this time. No, no, no. Okay, she's getting used to us, I guess. Uh, Maybe we'll have her in the next video. Lights, camera, action. There we go. Then we'll have a super blonde. Um, I am wearing the Wounded Warriors t-shirt. Thank you very much. He brought it for me. He even got it an extra fat so it fits me. And I got my Wounded Warriors hat on, of course. And we're here by his truck, which is a Wounded Warrior trailer that he put on there. He got put on there to support our veterans to support our wounded warriors and for a little bit more information i'm going to turn it over to mike and i'm going to get donna to just move up on us and uh, i'll let you introduce yourself and take it from there i've never seen this guy before in my life i haven't either but i love having breakfast with him he buys pancakes <laughs> yes anyway as dave was saying wounded warriors canada they support the vets, the first responders, and their families. They have awesome programs for these people here who run in when we're running out, and they have some issues to deal with. And so Wounded Warriors Canada helps raise money for programs, counseling programs, guide dog programs. And I thought it was the least that I could do there since these guys are serving, and I wasn't able to, and a lot of us haven't been able to, or won't in that case. I thought the way I can give back is to do something to help raise money over the summer months and in the winter too, through the truck shows and so on. So that's what I did. I put the deck ring on the side of the trailer there, and you can see this thing for miles away on the highway. So if you're at any of the truck shows, particularly Dave's show in Winnipeg, or any of the other ones around there, you see this truck, don't be shy about taking out your wallet and making a donation or paying online to Wounded Warriors Canada because they can sure use some money. Dave? Yes, no, that is fantastic. You're going to see that truck there on September 15th. And uh, they will be there and come up and just, you know, I know we're sometimes a little tight for money, but this is going to a really, really great cause. So they'll be there. Uh, they'll be inside as well. The truck will be in the convoy September 15th. But you're going to see them all over Canada. You'll see them down in the U.S. You're going to see them at other shows in Nisku and Alberta here and uh, hopefully all over the country as it spreads. Because what great ambassadors for Wounded Warriors Canada and Wounded Warriors period. As well, they're down here. People recognize this symbol. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah. And Dave, if you don't mind, I just want to say a shout out. Okay. Um, Don and I want to say hi to Margaret Foster Hyde. Hi, Margaret. Most of the highway heroes. I know we haven't been running east and west because we're doing this north-south thing right now. And, uh, we do miss transporting dogs and we miss you and we support you guys and uh, we we'll hope to catch up with you one day, Margaret. So we'll take care of yourself. They've got a Facebook page. If everybody could go over to that Facebook page after this video, of course, and sharing out this video, letting everybody know about Wounded Warriors and about the great cause that they're doing here. And just go over to Furry Hobos and Highway Heroes and just like the page and maybe you might be able to help because they have alerts about missing puppy dogs and furry friends and they need transporting sometimes from here to there and if you're going that way why not bring a uh, furry friend with you and i've talked before this is ptsd month which wounded warriors help a lot with and you wouldn't believe how much a service dog or furry friend will really help you and you got to get the right match but will really help you they'll always listen they'll never stay mad at you and they'll always love you a furry friend is awesome that's why i adopted angie there you go yeah. and i just wanted to encourage everybody to um uh, the warriors they have a web page for the warriors canada i invite you to visit there and, and you can donate that way as well okay so folks we're going to end on our puppy dogs up 
there. Uh, one's on the dash, one's on the steering wheel. They're looking for mom and dad. And uh, you all be safe out there. Y'all, I've been down in Texas, I guess. Y'all be safe out there. I'll check your comments later. And um, actually, the way we usually end is we put up our thumbs and say, keep on trucking. You have your favorite expression. Yes. Uh, so back to us, we'll say we would rather hear from you then hear about you and keep on trucking. Keep trucking. That went good. Thank nice you very job, much. Hey, the, that first run gave us a good run for the second. Beautiful. Now I better take my booster cables off. Shut off yes. Oh.